Today I thought I would make a video especially for my Indian followers and we're going to talk about the best universities that you can attend in India. So if you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Dr. Hayley Stainton. I teach study skills, referencing, how to get a great grade. I did a great video on that recently. So if you're interested in all things study skills and doing well at university or college, then make sure you do subscribe. India is such a fascinating country. It's one of my favorite countries that I've ever traveled to. I love Goa, the beach vibes, ah, oh, the weather is so nice. I love Delhi, Mumbai, the culture, the hustle and bustle. Ah, oh, I just love it. Oh, Kerala. Kerala is another place I really love in India. I haven't seen as much of India as I'd like, but I definitely want to. So if you are from India, tell me where you're from and why I should visit where you live down in the comments below. Anyway, back to the topic. So which are the best universities to attend in India? Well, you're spoiled for choice, really. There are so many universities in India for you to choose from. In fact, there are more than a thousand. Okay, so I recently did some research into which are the best universities in India and why. And I have compiled a list of these in a blog post on my website. So if you haven't seen my website yet, do check it out. So when I was doing this research to find out which are the best universities in India, I looked at the Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Now there are different ranking systems and different countries will have their own rankings. So this can differ a little bit, but I think the Times is generally pretty unbiased and generally pretty reliable. So for today, we're gonna stick with that. So let's have a look what the Times Higher Education has to say about universities in India and which ones are the best. So I'm going to run through with you 18 out of a thousand universities in India that have been ranked the top four. Okay. That doesn't quite make sense. Let me explain. Now we've got number one, two, and three, according to the Times Higher Education University rankings. And then the rest of them are all technically all number four. Now the reason for this is because all of these 14 universities that are technically ranked number four fall into the 601 to 800 in the World University Rankings section. So technically, these are the top four universities, but actually there's more than four. Coming in at number four, or number 18, depending on how you look at it, is Thapa University. Thapa University is located in the state of Punjab, and it is also known as Thapa Institute of Engineering and Technology. This university is known around the world as being one of the best universities in India for engineering. The facilities at this university are brilliant. There's an athletics track, a gym, a sports hall, a library. This university has it all. And what's more is that this university is actually partnered with Trinity University in Dublin, which itself has a fantastic reputation. Thapa University has six schools, which are management, chemistry and biochemistry, humanities and social sciences, mathematics, physics and material science, and energy and the environment. Coming in at number 17, or number four, is Savitribai Pool Poon University. I hope I've pronounced that right. Savitribai Pool Poon University is located in the state of Maharashtra. The campus dates way back to the era of the British Rai, and the university has a lot of international students. This university has its own radio station. It has lots of extracurricular activities. And there are lots of other things that make this university unique and make it stand out within India. They have a great range of courses across a wide range of subjects, which includes education, physical sciences, and Indian languages. We then have Punjab University. As the name suggests, given its similarity, the third number four university in India is also located in the state of Punjab. PU, as it's known, is a public university that was established in 1882. And this is one of the country's oldest universities. The campus is absolutely beautiful. It's got its own botanic gardens, a theater, a post office, a bank, and lots more. There's lots going on at this university. It's a big university too, with over 70 teaching and research departments. Courses include law, animal husbandry, business management and commerce, medical sciences, and more. The next university on the list is Mahatma Gandhi University. Named after the civil rights figure, Mahatma Gandhi, the university is another 
public university. You can do a range of courses here that go up to doctorate level or PhD level. And if you are a follower of my YouTube channel, you will know I am a big advocate of higher education and doing a PhD, and I've got lots of videos that I have made about that. This university has an excellent reputation when it comes to research, hence all the postgraduate courses. And it's particularly well known for its developments of innovative technologies. The campus itself is very beautiful to look at and it's got lots of facilities. The university ranks especially well in courses related to science, physical education and business administration. And the next university on the list is King George's Medical University. Located in Uttar Pradesh, King's George Medical University has an amazing reputation when it comes to Indian medical institutes. There are two parts to this university, the medical side and the dentistry side. But whichever arm of medicine you choose to explore, you will have plenty of options at this university. The university campus has plenty of shops, there's a bank, the student accommodation, and there's even a shuttle bus. Jawaharlal Nehru University. I hope I pronounced that right. Do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. This university is located in Delhi, and the university is named after India's first ever prime minister. This is a research-led university, and it only has around 10,000 students, so it's relatively small. Most of these students are studying at master's level or above, and this university thrives in areas such as engineering, management studies, applied sciences, and liberal arts. Next on the list is Jamia Millia Islamia. This university was established back in 1920, and it's a public university located in Delhi. It was set up by Muslim leaders at the time. The literal translation of the name of this university is Community Islamic University. This university wanted to be free from British colonial rule. Sorry about that. And it had a really hard fight getting to where it is today. In fact, it wasn't even given official university status until 1962. At this university, you can study law, architecture, fine arts, social sciences, dentistry, engineering, technology, education, and the natural sciences. The university is also particularly well known for its sports approach and the sports stars who have studied here. The university has also hosted a range of sporting events, including the Blind Cricket World Cup. Next up is Indra Prastha Institute of Information Technology. This is a very small university. It has less than 2,000 students, but it might just be one of the best universities in India. This university is research focused and it specializes in computer science. There are six main departments at this state funded university, maths, computational biology, science, humanities and the social sciences, science and engineering, and electronics and communications. In Hyderabad, you will find the Indian Institute of Technology. Known as ITT, it's a forerunner when it comes to engineering schools in India. This university only has 2,500 students, making it another small, but brilliant, university in India. It's a relatively new university and it was founded in 2008. There are a variety of courses on offer at this university, including BTEC, MSc, MTech, MPhil, PhD, and MDES. As well as studying technology, there are also a range of creative courses too, so there are lots of options at this small university. Similarly, there is an Indian Institute of Technology located in Gandhinagar. Also established in 2008, this university gives you the option to study the STEM subjects. You can choose from civil engineering, chemistry, cognitive science, material science, computer science, and more. This modern university receives plenty of funding from the government, meaning that it has some fantastic facilities. Next up is the Indian Institute of Science, Education, and Research. There are actually seven universities within this group, which are known as ICES. They are located in Kolkata, Pune, Mohali, and Bhopal, as well as in Tiruvanthavaram. I hope I said that right. I bet I didn't. Do correct me in the comments. Tirupati and Burhampur. The campuses in Kolkata and Pune are some of the best universities in India. They are state funded and they provide undergraduate qualifications in areas such as the basic sciences as well as postgraduate provision too. Still at the popular number four spot, technically, we have the University of Delhi. Now this is one of the biggest universities that you will come across in all of India. There are five major departments here, which are humanities, social sciences, sciences, geology, zoology, and chemistry. And these are known as centers of advanced study. This university was actually founded by the British Indian government's Central Legislative Assembly back 
in 1922, which actually combined three existing colleges. This is definitely one of the best known universities in all of India, and rightly so. Next up is the Institute of Chemical Technology. This university was originally part of the Bombay or Mumbai University, but now it is a university in its own right with its own status. This university absolutely excels when it comes to engineering, chemistry and pharmacy. The university has absolutely fantastic research facilities and they have produced some revolutionary research in recent years. In fact, this university is said to produce 10% of all of India's chemistry PhDs every year, which is an incredible statistic. Next up is Banaras Hindu University. This is Asia's biggest residential university with temples and museums on the campus. Known as BHU, this university is one of India's institutes of national importance. The university was actually set up to try and reduce poverty in the area by working on areas such as science and technology with the aims of developing products and services that would help enhance the lives of poorer people within the community. But don't be fooled by the name, it's not only for Hindus, anyone can attend this university. In fact, the university says India is not a country for Hindus only. It is a country of Muslims, Christians and Parsis too. The country can gain strength and develop itself only when people of different communities in India live in mutual goodwill and harmony. Next up is India's Institute of Technology in Indore. Now this is the third best university in all of India. Yes, we have now completed number four. We're on to number three. This is another of the IIT universities and it was founded in 2009 in Madhya Pradesh. The focus at this university is on engineering, science and the humanities and social sciences. If you come to this university, you can study undergraduate or postgraduate and the university does offer a student-led outreach program, which is a fantastic initiative as it offers educational opportunities and welfare to local schools where this is needed. And spot number two goes to the Indian Institute of Technology in Ropar. This university is also a relatively new IIT university. It's located in Rupnagar, which can be found in Punjab. Chemical, chemical engineering, mathematics, physics and materials engineering are some of the main subjects that you can study here as well as some of the humanities and the social sciences too. There are plenty of sports facilities here on campus and the campus hosts a range of festivals and events each year. This is one of the best universities in India and for good reason. If you are looking at a STEM subject this university is definitely worth a look. And the first spot, the number one spot, the best university in India is the Indian Institute of Science, known as IIS. This university has a long history as it was founded back in 1909. And this university offers just one undergraduate degree, which is a science degree. All students will take the exact same modules for three years. And then during their fourth year, they will undertake an independent research project. This is a unique style of teaching higher education and it is very different from most universities, making it a very interesting choice if you are looking at where is the best university for you to study in India. So I hope you have found that video very helpful. If you did enjoy it, please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit like on this video so that I can share it with more people and hopefully give more value to more people.